Does your child ignore you, become distracted, or not listen to you? Or do they turn up the volume on the TV? The reason could be otitis media with effusion OME, or glue ear. But first, shortly, how a healthy ear works. It is divided in three parts, outer, middle, and inner ear. When sound waves hit the eardrum, it vibrates and causes the linked bones to move, passing sound waves to the inner ear. Signals will be sent through the hearing nerves to the brain, allowing us to hear. The middle ear is normally filled with air and connected to the nose by the eustachian tube, allowing air to move into the middle ear to keep the same air pressure on both sides of the ear drum. If the eustachian tube is blocked or swollen and not open properly, a vacuum will be developed, drawing fluid into the middle ear. This condition may cause a sticky, glue-like effusion to develop in the middle ear, with subsequent hearing impairment and ear discomfort, known as otitis media OME with effusion, or glue ear. Glue ear is common. 8 out of 10 children suffer from it before the age of 10 and 7 out of 10 will have it before they reach the age of 4. In many cases, no treatment is needed, as the condition may resolve itself within 3 months. Some children need to undergo surgical treatment to equalize the middle ear pressure, which involves insertion of ventilation tubes. Insertion of tubes does not cure, it just relieves the symptoms. And in one of 3 children, additional insertion will be needed within 7 months. If the pressure in your child's ear can be normalized in other ways, symptoms such as hearing loss can be reduced, as can the need for surgery.